Hi C Sharp fans, this is me Sajjada Redbull and today I will tell you some details about my recent ESP.NET MVC based project. So uh, first of all I will quickly go through its uh, user interface and then we will move to its implementation detail and see how I developed this project. Ok, so the idea behind this project was to let users post ads in different categories and see, what, uh, see ads posted by other users in different categories. So for now I only have three categories here, laptop ads, cell phone ads and bike ads. But admin can add any number of categories uh, at any time. So uh, this is the home page and on the home page uh, I have uh, ads posted in different categories showing up here. So uh, on the home page all, uh, ads posted in all categories will be showing. Uh, if you want to see uh, specific category pages we can uh, always click on the sidebar here. So in sidebar I have laptop ads category if I click on here and it will it will take me to uh, the specific category pages. So this is the uh, laptop category page and here we have you see uh, all of the ads posted in the laptop category are showing up here. Uh, on the top of this page we have a beautiful slider here and this slider is also generating at runtime and admin does not have to update this slider at any time. So this, this slider will automatically take uh, the most recent three ads and display their images here and if we click on any of the image it will take us to the detail of that particular, uh, particular ad. So for example if I click on this product here, this image, so it has taken me to the detail of this particular product. You can see that uh, first of all I have the product image showing up here and then the product title and uh, you see uh, this ad was posted in Indian rupees so uh, uh, we Indian rupees are also showing up here uh, users are able to post ad their ads in any uh, any currency they, uh, they like so th these are the details of the product you can see uh, the seller who has posted this ad and uh, conditions and different other details it also, uh, it also has the description here and below this uh, ad, uh, we have ad review panel here. So uh, to leave a review, we, we need to be logged in first. So I will uh, I will come back to this later. Uh, first of all, let's go back to the category page here. So this is the laptop category page, and you can see on the, the snapshot that is uh, the beautiful thumbnail that is showing is also contain uh, title, the ad title, and other description and then the currency and the location where this particular uh, product is being sold. So this is the uh, basic uh, category pages. Uh, similarly, we have cell phone ads category. It will, uh, it will show uh, products posted, uh, ads posted in that particular category. So let's log in and see what other details uh, we can have here. Okay, so I'm logging in. Uh, I have already created my account so I'll use my details to log in. It's taking some time I think. Hello, simply show me the login form. So uh, this is this is uh, my uh, login page and I'll simply put my username and password and that's it. So uh, now uh, I'm logged in and you can see that uh, my name is showing up here and uh, my my profile picture is also showing here. So uh, and this one is uh, by default so I have not updated uh, any of these. Uh, let's see uh, what other controls uh, we have got. Okay. So if I click on uh, my username here it is also showing me profile and admin dashboard. I'll come back to these later. First of all we go to uh, add details pages here. So for example if I click on this uh, particular product here and uh, this is the same product that we uh, already seen. So now you can you see uh, I have got add review panel. So if I want to add a review to this particular ad I can always add it add from here. Uh, also I have also added some uh, validation over here. Uh, the review length must be of 50 characters and at most 500 characters. So if I want to post a review that is less than 50 characters, it will show me a message here. So let's just simply put a review here. I am interested in this product. 
okay so now if i click uh, add your review so it will add my review here so now you can see uh, my review is uh, added here and with the timestamp that i have posted and also a link to my profile is also added to this if i click on this it will take me uh, take the users to my profile so uh, th this ad was posted by Ijaz Arif so uh, if I logged in with uh, the particular uh, seller who posted this ad you will also be able to see uh, a control panel here uh, which will have edit and delete so let me quickly quickly go to get into his an account and see uh, what other details we have okay I'm logging in and this time I will give this, uh, the details of the account that posted that ad. so now you can see that I have uh, I'm logging from the account the account that posted this particular ad and if now if I see the detail of this uh, ad below this ad I have control your ad panel so I can edit and delete my ad at any time and I can also see uh, the latest reviews that that have been posted by other users so if I want to answer any of these uh, review you, you can also do it so uh, let me go back to uh, the main here and the navigation bar so let's see what other details we have in navigation bar so in navigation bar I have got two options profile and admin so the profile if I click on the profile it will take me to the details of my own profile here and uh, I will be able to see uh, my uh, account details like username location and phone and other stuff here uh, I am also able to edit and delete my account from this portion here and the other thing that we have here is the admin dashboard since uh, I've also added some basic role management to this project, I'm also able to uh, uh, to customize the admin dashboard to only be accessible to uh, users who have the roles admin and manager. So uh, for now we have three roles: uh, sellers, managers, and admin. Uh, if we if I go back to the seller page, uh, seller account here, and in navigation bar he only got a link to his profile so I have added a small authentication uh, here uh, if a user only has a role of seller he will not be able to access the admin dashboard only users with the uh, manager and admin role will be able to access the admin dashboard so if I click on admin dashboard it will take me to the admin dashboard here and this admin dashboard is using a completely different UI you can see that uh, we've got uh, sidebar here with uh, most of the controls so if I click on laptop ads it will show me a table here with all the ads and their titles and different prices and posting times with the controls for deleting and their total review count and also the link to the profile of the uh, seller who posted this particular ad if I click on any of it it will take me to the details of the particular ad and if I click on the username it will take me to the uh, the, uh, profile link of that particular user. Similarly, for the cell phone ads and bike ads, completely same. Uh, let's get it loaded first. So the same for all uh, all other type of ads here. Uh, in the sellers option, we got uh, the most recent. Uh, users who registered on our uh, website so we can see all the details of their uh, names emails phone uh, locations and their joining date and if we see that uh, a user is inappropriate or posting inappropriate stuff we can also delete their account from this panel here uh, also we've had option for reviews so if i click on reviews uh, i've got uh, this table here and this table will have um, details of all the reviews posted by users on ads here so these are all the uh, reviews posted 
here uh, and if, uh, if admin see that uh, a particular review is not uh, appropriate you can also delete it from here and the posting time you can also see the posting time at which uh, at which time the uh, review was lead so also i have ha i have a role basic role management here so if i click on the roles i will be able to see uh, all the users who have the roles of administrators managers and sellers here in three different table so if i click on more details of this particular user it will display me all the roles held by this user if i want to add a new role to this user i can also do this and if i want to delete a role from this particular user and i can also do that from here uh, another thing that i have here is adding a new role to the project so if i if i just want to add another role to the whole project i can also do that from here and if i want to delete a particular uh, role completely from the uh, all the users and delete it from the uh, project i can also do the same from here so this was the uh, quick uh, user interface details here uh, let me go into the implementation detail so this is the project uh, i have opened in visual studio and here you can see that uh, i have four different um, you can say modules here for this project so the main solution window is a buy cell and inside this we have web ui models dal uh, data access layer and contracts so first i'll tell you what uh, what patterns i have used i have used a uh, repository pattern in this project i have also used entity framework and uh, the main thing i have done here is that i have designed it in a modular fashion and is loosely coupled so all the domain classes are contained in my models so uh, this this is the simple class library project and here you can see all the domain classes are here so i have used uh, code first migration I, uh, first of all i have created the different classes here and then uh, i have migrated this to create a database so uh, I am using these model classes inside my data access layer. In uh, my data access layer is also a class library, and inside this I have two different stuff. The first one is that my data context class that I use to uh, uh, use use for context to access the database, and the other is repository. So the repository uh, will have all the repositories for different uh, domains, domain classes or model classes. You can say. So you see, uh, all the repositories are here. Now these repositories are following a repository pattern that I have in my bycell dot contracts. So by using um, repository pattern, I am also able to uh, access my data uh, data access layer from web UI in a completely different manner. So uh, in future, if my uh, data access layer gets changed i will uh, i will not be in much problem uh, with uh, my ui so i will only update its data access layer and the uh, other all other stuff will remain the same so uh, if you want to go into more details more specific details of uh, what other options we get from uh, using repository pattern you, you can also go to google and check about its details here, here. okay so uh, let's go back to its uh, web UI here and inside web UI uh, first we have areas here in inside areas uh, I've used dashboard area so all the admin controls uh, admin dashboard is in, in dashboard area here so uh, other users I've, I've added authentication authorization over this area so uh, only users who have uh, manager and admin role will be able to access this area otherwise this will not allow uh, users who uh, who have seller role okay and inside the, uh, this area i have different controllers and models and views for admin side uh, all other controllers are contained in the uh, by default area that we have so you can see in the controllers we have account controller ajax controller bike ads and cell phone ads and home controller laptop ads and other different other uh, controllers uh, if you go to view uh, views folder here inside views folder we uh, we've had we have 
uh, folders for other uh, controllers pages here so account controllers have its views in accounts uh, folder here uh, the main thing here is the shared folder inside shared folder we have different these different things so I am using uh, uh, you see that the sidebar that we have here is uh, in a different view here it's in uh, let's say categories partial so the si sidebar is uh, sidebar details are only in the categories partial page so and this category partial page is rendering on all the pages of the website you can see uh, it has action linked to different controllers and their uh, particular actions so and other stuff that I have here is a login partial uh, this login partial is uh, here I'm uh, adding a small authentication you can see if a user is in role of admin or manager he will be able to uh, access admin dashboard uh, as we see that the part this particular user did not have the role of manager so he did not have access to admin dashboard so uh, this is my basic implementation uh, if you want to see more details of this uh, project you can al also go to my github account and inside my github account I have this uh, complete code of this project and all of its commits I have done from the beginning so you can see all the commits and all the code that I have as of now so this is uh, I'm, you can see the github bull slash myself so all the code is available here if you want to uh, see it in detail you can uh, go at go to this link at any time if you have any question you can always ask in uh, below comments and directly message me to uh, my profile or you can always post in our uh, c sharpens group and i'll check i'll personally answer those questions so hopefully uh, you like this project and we'll see uh, ourselves next time okay goodbye